Welcome. Today we'd like to share a demo of a new tool we've been working on at MathJax. This new tool is a full math accessibility solution built to work with any screen reader. It includes on-the-fly speech text generation, highlighting and exploration of a rendered mathematical equation. Like any MathJax project, this tool is open source and only depending on MathML and standard web APIs. Please note that this is work in progress and various minor or major bugs might occur. However, we're very interested in getting your feedback as early as possible, so please try out our demo and let us know about any issues you encounter. We are planning the first release for the end of this year. For this demo, I'm using a standard virtual machine from modern.ie so that you are able to reproduce these results easily in your own setup. In this case, it's a Windows 10 virtual machine for testing Microsoft Edge. Our goal is to enable any combination of screen reader, browser, and OS, no matter if they support math or not at this point. Of course, that is very challenging, and we have not yet achieved full coverage. For our most recent test results, please see the GitHub Wiki page, which is linked in the notes to this video. In this video, I will be demonstrating a test page using Chromevox in Chrome. You can find the URL to the test page in the notes to this video below. As you can see, Chrome is already running and Chromevox in fact also, so we will get oral rendering as soon as I switch to the VM. Note that I will mostly cut off the screen reader to keep the video short and focus the demo on the interaction between screen reader and our accessibility tool. Let's get started. First, Options let's refresh Walker. the page Background. to see that this is in fact a live page. Renderer. Semantic enrichment for. Thanks, Chromebox, cutting you off. Let me quickly describe the test page. There is a simple text area for input in tech. That's just for convenience. There is also a list of examples so that you are easily reproducing the results across different setups. There are finally some options for the accessibility tool itself, but I will ignore them in this video. However, please feel free to play around with them and let us know how it's going with the different settings. Finally, there is a dedicated area for the output. Note that I've actually set MathJax to scale up the output for the purpose of recording this screencast. So let's pick up an example. We'll pick an easy one. Select one. Quadratic formula 3 of 9. Quadratic formula. Thanks, Chromebox. We're picking the quadratic formula. It's very simple, and most people should be able to check that the oral voicing is, in fact, correct for this expression, and in particular, the highlighting for sub-expressions and the voicing corresponding to them is, in fact, matching well and representing the semantic structure well enough. To get to activate our accessibility tool, we need to bring the equation into focus. Since MathJax puts its output into the tab order since version 2.6, we can use the tab key to focus on the equation. Since we're already at this combo box, we just have to tab three times to get to the equation. Keep. Typeset. Unfortunately, Chromebox does not voice that this is a math element and as other brothers do. However, we will be implementing a more generic notification so that the user can actually be aware that the accessibility tool is available in the page. To be able to activate the accessibility tool, you usually have to switch the screen reader mode. For example, in NVDA, you have to switch from browse mode to focus mode in JAWS, you have to disable the virtual cursor. In Chromebox, this is not necessary, and all you have to do is hit Shift Space to start the accessibility tool. X equals start fraction negative B plus or minus start root B squared minus 4 AC end root over 2 end fraction. Great. You've heard the expression being voiced. If you are seeing this, you will notice that the expression has been highlighted, and in this test page, we are putting the speed string into the page at the bottom of the page just for debugging purposes to make it easier for us during development. 
to see what speech text is actually being generated. In the DOM, we are using an ARIA live region that gets updated with the speech string that we want to voice whenever you're navigating around. To navigate and explore this expression, we simply use the arrow keys. You use up and down to move through the different levels and left and right to move within a single level. This structure is actually generated not just from the MathML, but with some on-the-fly semantic enrichment of the MathML structure. That way we are able to identify sub-expressions and their meaning. This helps voicing and, in fact, navigating and highlighting the expression. Since we are at the top level, all we can do is enter one level down. So let's hit the down key. X. All right. Since we just entered a lower level, we are at the leftmost position. So all we can do is move to the right. Equals. And again. Start fraction negative b plus or minus start root b squared minus 4ac and root over 2 end fraction. Great. So you can see you can navigate the expression. Let's take it a level further. Negative b plus or minus start root b squared minus 4ac end root. And the other part of the fraction if we hit right. 2a. Great. Now if you're a visual user, you might be able to discern pretty quickly that this must be a multiplication, 2 times a. However, if you're listening to an oral rendering, it's not always quite so clear whether this is a single identifier or, in fact, an implied multiplication. If we explore this part, we will actually notice some clarification in this respect. is generated by the semantic information. So let's go down a level to explore the 2a in more detail. 2 times a. Great. So I switched down and went right. We can go back left. Times 2. And so we hear that there is actually an invisible times in the middle of 2 and A. If you look at the source, the MathML source or the text source that we used as an input, you will notice that this information is actually not available. And this is a typical example of the semantic enrichment that we are applying to the MathML. Similarly, if you go to the upper part of the fraction, you will notice that B squared is being voiced and not B superscript 2, even though that's in fact all the MathML would give you. Great. So this was a basic example of how to explore an expression using Chrome and Chromevox. If we want to exit our accessibility tool, we simply hit the escape key. Then we are back in the main flow of the page and we can explore the equation as you would, one would usually do with the screen reader of your choice. Thanks so much for listening. This was a demo of our new accessibility tool on Chrome and Chrome Vox using the Windows 10 VM from modern.ie. The same effect can be seen on any Chrome and Chrome Vox combination, so any Windows, any uh, OS X or even Linux, it works across the board. We have further screen readers that we have tested. There are a couple of other videos. You can look at the link to see the um, support document that lists all current combination and the results we've been able to achieve so far. This is constantly being updated, so be sure to check in every once in a while. And hopefully you can give this a spin on your own system and give us some feedback what's been working well and what actually needs some work. Thanks so much.